The key problem with this bubble and the reason why we have a world financial crisis as a result of this bubble is because the mortgages that were, mortgages that were created were very bad mortgages. And let me give you an idea of how bad they are. There are 25 million, 25 million subprime and Alt-A, in other words, non-prime mortgages. They are worth something more than $4 trillion. That's 40 percent of all outstanding mortgages today. Fannie and Freddie hold or have guaranteed $1.6 trillion of these subprime mortgages. That's about 10 million subprime mortgages. Forty percent of their total single-family exposure is subprime mortgages. Now, one of the problems we had, uh, Phil spoke about this, was uh, the Community Reinvestment Act, known as CRA. CRA was not a major contributor to the subprime problem in terms of the number of mortgages. But what it did is it began the process of eroding the quality of the mortgages that were being made in this country. And in fact, it co-opted the regulators because the regulators were required to enforce CRA. And if you weren't making the kinds of mortgages that CRA required, then the regula regulators punished you in one way or another. So mortgages that they ordinarily would have opposed because they were not safe as banking instruments uh, were mortgages that they were compelled by CRA to approve. And that was one of the beginnings of the process whereby we have gotten away from high down payments, we have gotten away from fixed income, uh, fixed uh, interest rates and things like that. 